we're in a post-truth era. People do not believe media, and if you don't believe media, it's only like a hop, skipping, and jump away from not believing what the government's saying. And then you don't believe what scientists are saying, then all of a sudden you're fucking watching a nine hour flat earth YouTube video. The day is finally here. Taking it to the next level. Live from Edmonton. Wow, here we are again. But what's really special in these next two days is this is history for Canada. What you're seeing here is a mirage. I didn't really want to get into it with them about the arguments. I was more interested in just kind of learning what the community was like. And it turned out to be like a really odd community that has its own lexicon. Um, they have power players within it. It's really a, like a fascinating little subculture. It felt a lot more like a YouTube convention. A lot of the stuff that they saw, they almost certainly have already heard on YouTube. All this stuff was gonna be live streamed on YouTube so they could just watch it from home. What they were there to do was to meet other flat earthers. Um, someone described to me as a happy AA meeting because for the first time they were able to be open about their beliefs um, and to see in person and to talk to some of their heroes in the flat earth movement. Welcome everybody, hi, how are you? It's flat, eh? It's flat, eh? But the majority of people I talked to here were either got into Flat Earth because of um, Christianity or one of the Judeo-Christian religions or got into Christianity or one of the Judeo-Christian religions because of Flat Earth. I believe it's God-given. I truly believe it's God-given. I believe there's a movement by the Almighty and His hand is all over this. As a reporter, I've always kind of gravitated towards um, fringe movements because I feel um, in some ways uh, they can kind of tell us more about the bigger picture that's going on. They're kind of like a canary in the coal mine, per se. They don't exist in a vacuum. They're extremes, for sure, but they show us what can happen if we don't correct paths in some sort of way. And definitely flat earthers are indicative of a bigger thing. What that is, I don't know fully, but they are something. And they're worthy of being looked at in an honest and truthful way.